Many sectors of the market have been beaten and bruised since the recent April 23 high. Which offer the best value right now and how do you avoid value traps? Two long-time money managers with a combined $9 billion under management join us now in West Palm Beach. David Dreeman, president of Dreeman Value Management and in Austin, Donald Yachtman, president of Yachtman Asset Management. Um, let me kick off with you, David. Uh, this morning, the CEO of Rio Tinto uh, is again kind of hinting that they might think about pulling out of Australia because of the tax there. Last week, we had those metals, those mining stocks hit very harshly because people questioned whether the Chinese commodity play would stay intact. And yet I see from the notes here that you're picking up those very miners. Uh, we are picking up some of them, Simon. We're also uh, picking up some oil stocks. Uh, uh, I, we think that the, uh, uh, the Australian 40% uh, uh, proposed value tax is, is likely to come down some. And, uh, and, these, and both Rio Tinto and BHP have gone down very significantly. So we, we think there's some value there. We also think there's a good deal of value in, in some of the exploration and development companies in the United States that's, that have been going down since this uh, enormous BP spill. So there, I think there's value in some of these natural resource stocks right now. Which names in particular would you pick out? Well, uh, a couple of them that you've mentioned, uh, uh, actually... Uh, uh, BHP would be one, Free, Freeport McMoran would be another in the natural resource stocks. And uh, in the oils, we'd, we'd look at uh, 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 companies like uh, Apache and Chesapeake, what, probably the, one of the largest uh, natural gas producers, both uh, domestic. And uh, um, we'd also uh, uh, possibly look at uh, companies like... Uh, um, uh, um, the... Um, so, in, so, in the, uh, so just, just yeah, sure. So, but you, so you don't fear that Capitol Hill is going to seriously dent this industry moving forward. You don't think that people will have to re-rate some of these stocks because of the political risk. Uh, I think they've already been re-rated uh, pretty significantly in the market. So, I, uh, I'm talking okay. specifically about uh, the uh, the, uh, m the miners. Donald, if I look at your, what you're currently picking up in the market, there's a much more, if I may suggest, defensive kind of uh, feel to it. Coke, Pepsi, Pfizer, Viacom. Are you essentially quite bearish on the market overall? Uh, it's always fun to talk about the market, but we really don't try to predict it. We really look at forward rates of return and look at them on a quality-adjusted basis like bonds and those are the ones that are showing up the best. I'd add News Corp into that list, too. Why would you, why would you pick those? Just talk us through your thoughts, if you would. Well, I just think uh, that after, uh, what, from what we see, these businesses offer just the, the best quality-adjusted rates of return. And if you go back uh, statistically and look, I think you will find, uh, you could add Johnson & Johnson and Procter & Gamble and Clorox to that list. I think if you go back and look, uh, you have to go back 15 or more years before you'll see this many high-quality companies selling at below average prices. Don't those price earnings, though, change very dramatically if you start changing your assumptions, say, on interest rates or on the Australian dollar or perhaps on one of their major markets, Europe, going into a deflation? Don't, don't those figures, your calculations, very rapidly turn to looking expensive? Well, I, I, I think it just depends on what adjustments you make, but inflation hit, uh, hits all asset classes and, and it goes across the board. So that's only one of three components, the other being cash generation and growth rates. So on a, I don't care what the interest or the, uh, uh, the inflation rate is, I think these companies are pretty adaptive to that, actually. Gentlemen, thank you both for telling us how you're attempting to make money here. Thank you, David and Donald, joining us there uh, for their, uh, their latest in the market.